The shape of a simple molecule or ion is determined by the arrangement of the electron pairs around the central atom. By electron pairs we mean either the bonding pairs of electrons by which other atoms are covalently bonded to the central atom, or the lone pairs on the central atom. Electron pairs repel each other, so the electron pairs arrange themselves around the central atom so that they are as far apart as possible. Because they're held a little closer to the central atom, lone pairs have a stronger repelling effect, pushing the other electron pairs away more strongly. This has the effect of closing up angles between bonding pairs by about 2.5 degrees per lone pair. To be sure of the number of electron pairs around the central atom, it helps to draw a dot and cross diagram. Here we can see that the central oxygen atom in water has four electron pairs around it. You should note that for the purposes of shapes and bond angles, a double or triple covalent bond still only counts as one bonding pair. You will need to learn how electron pairs from two pairs to six pairs arrange themselves around the central atom and the angles between the electron pairs. Anything with four electron pairs will take up a tetrahedral arrangement around the central atom, with the electron pairs 109.5 degrees apart. Since water has two lone pairs and two bonding pairs, the lone pairs force the bonding pairs closer together by 2.5 degrees per lone pair, making the angle between the bonding pairs, which is the bond angle, equal to 104.5 degrees. We can visualise this by drawing the electron pairs and bond angle, but we must not jump to the conclusion that water has a tetrahedral shape. Here are the shapes of molecules which can arise from between two and six electron pairs around the central atom. We can see that for a molecule with four electron pairs, the shape would be tetrahedral if there were no lone pairs, but for water with two lone pairs, the shape is named nonlinear. We need to learn the names of these shapes and be confident about which shapes arise from which numbers of lone pairs and bonding pairs. Once we know the bond angles and how the electron pairs are arranged, we can draw the molecule or ion, keeping the same arrangement but without the lone pairs being drawn. This helps us to visualise the shape so we can choose the correct name. For an H3O plus ion, again we start with a dot and cross diagram. We can see that it still has four electron pairs, and so these will still be tetrahedrally arranged around the oxygen atom. But now there are three bonding pairs and one lone pair. This means that the bond angle will be closed from 109.5 degrees to 107 degrees, rather than the 104.5 degrees we saw in water. If we draw this out, we can label the bond angle and visualise how the electron pairs are arranged. When we have four electron pairs and one is a lone pair, the shape of the molecule is a trigonal pyramid. We can call the shape pyramidal. If we draw the molecule again, omitting the lone pair but keeping everything else where it is, we can see how the pyramidal shape arises.